Last but not least, the final student entrepreneur that I'd like to introduce today is Chase Griffin. Chase is currently pursuing a master's degree in education at UCLA, where he earned his BA in public affairs in two and a half years. And he played quarterback for the Bruins. His startup company, Believe Brand, has successfully executed on dozens of major ad campaigns. A few of his clients include Degree, Shell, Discord, and Boost Mobile, along with many more. He is also a highly sought after strategy consultant and speaker, including at Startup UCLA. Chase is a member of the Pac-12 Student Athlete Leadership Team and the Bruin Athletic Council. Please join me in welcoming Chase to tell us more about his company and his time at UCLA. Well, I won't be too long, no better than to get between people in their lunch. So let's get on with it. Well, first I wanna thank Deanna Evans at Startup UCLA, Jacqueline Burgess and Bruce Hunter for the invitation and opportunity to speak and learn from you today. My name is Chase Griffin and I'm a born Bruin. I was actually born right down the street at UCLA Santa Monica Hospital. Playing football for UCLA has always been my dream and I'm in my fourth year continuing uh, to live out that dream. When I was four, my family moved from LA to Texas where I was raised and I was raised under the Friday night lights of Texas high school football. It really is everything that they say it is. Where I grew up, high school football is king. I learned how to represent my family, my town, and brands. My senior year, I was the Gatorade Ford Whataburger and In-N-Out Texas Player of the Year. The stadiums, the broadcasts, and the awards all had brand sponsors and media partners. At UCLA, I studied at the Luskin School of Public Affairs. I learned how to do market analysis, think critically about problems, and prepare playbooks to solve problems in both the public and private sectors. The, that rigorous classroom education was supplemented with a year-long capstone where I did my capstone at Accelerator for America, which was founded by Mayor Eric Garcetti. AFA has raised more than $40 billion for economic development projects, so I learned how to link strategy and execution. NIL stands for Name, Image, and Likeness, and is a recently passed movement that was spearheaded by UCLA great Ed O'Bannon. Prior to the passage of NIL reform last July, student athletes were barred from participating in any type of startup ventures that were being founded by our peers at schools. The ability for student athletes to profit off of our name, image, and likeness is the biggest innovation in college athletics in the past 30 years. When the Austin versus NCAA Supreme Court case ruled down the NCAA's restrictions on athletes to use our NIL, I was prepared to capitalize on this empowerment and equity opportunity. For the most part, UCLA athletics hasn't been too hands-on, and that's probably the best for true uh, entrepreneurial growth. Jay Tucker in the Center of Memes has been helpful, and I'm grateful for them, uh, but I've learned best from honestly practice. Believe Brand LLC is a brand consulting firm, leveraging name, image, and likeness from myself to represent individual brands and advise agencies and media companies on brand investments. Recently, I was awarded, I was awarded the NIL National uh, Male Athlete of the Year Award for my efforts. Category leaders like Degree Deodorant, Shell Service Stations, LinkedIn, Boost Mobile, Celestial Seasonings are all clients of mine. And I'm the student executive in residence at Uniworld Group WPP, which is the largest multicultural advertising agency and marketing agency in the country. UC student athletes are beginning to do more deals with major brands each year. As the NIO market grows, Students can create very viable businesses while in college, while practicing these skills of investment and support. As more high growth ventures are launched in the UCs, you will start seeing more athletes a part of these launches. Going forward, what would be helpful from the UC is to establish a more dedicated and formal connection between the student athletes and the startup communities of these campuses. Thank you again for the opportunity to learn, share, and uh, 
Go Bruins. Go Bruins. Thank you, Chase. I actually would like to turn it back over to President Drake then for some final comments about this panel, because I think he's probably just as proud as all of us are for the work you're doing. So go ahead, President Drake. Yeah, first, uh, terrific. I really appreciated hearing from the students. The whole panel today was quite informative, and this is an unusual meeting for me because I came mainly to listen. And uh, so I, I, I appreciate that opportunity and uh, the things that we've shared today. And I think I, uh, uh, th for, for the students, let me say that I think I, I appreciate how much you were able to illustrate to those uh, uh, in our community who don't spend as much time with our students, the, the real uh, brilliance and focus and dedication that our, our students bring to this uh, enterprise, to our university, and, and why we have so much faith in our futures, knowing that you're going to be the leaders of our future. So I think I appreciate how well you've represented who we are and what we do and, and why we do it. And, and to you, I'd like to just encourage you to uh, maintain your focus and maintain your engagement and, and maintain your authenticity. Uh, you've, you've all come a long way to where you are. You all have very bright futures and um, just um, uh, sticking to it and moving it, sticking with it and moving it forward, I think is what will lead you to those next phases of your life. And we'll you know, I'll be very excited to, to see and support and encourage uh, you in, in those next phases. Finally, I will say that uh, to the extent that uh, any of you are, I mean, the, the, there's an interest in creating a student network, a, a way for students to be, connected uh, more broadly. We have multiple uh, multi-campus student organizations in, in, in multiple ways, ones that would be um, looking into the pre-med curriculum or, or going to law school, things of, of that nature. The student government associations uh, work uh, among the campuses um, uh, on a co consistent basis. To the extent that any of you are interested in meeting and learning and working with entrepreneurs from the other campuses, I think that, that we could help facilitate that through our central office since we have lots of uh, connections there. And um, actually, you can do it through my office, just uh, saying, gosh, we're interested in that. Who might we contact? And we can put you in touch with people that would help that uh, multi-campus organization go forward. And again, I'll, I'll echo what uh, uh, Chair Lieb said at the beginning. I think that um, we all are uh, very proud to see the work that you're doing and very excited about following it in the future and uh, have great confidence that you're all gonna make a real difference in your lives. Go, go Bruins, go Bears. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's.